brings back memories as I look at these pictures. I haven't looked at them in 30 years. Photos that haven't seen the light of day in nearly three decades tell the story. The people we, at these places we visited had never seen an F-15 before. Of Air Force history in the making. Retired Colonel Carl Baker was one of the first pilots to fly the most advanced flying machine in the world at the time, the F-15 out of Luke Air Force Base in Glendale. I couldn't help but share the irony or the, I suppose, nostalgia of having it, the same thing with a different aircraft occur 40 years later. That different aircraft, the highly anticipated F-35A fifth generation fighter jet, finally landed at Luke, marking another new chapter of Air Force history. It's the foundation of future generations of uh, fighter pilots for the next 70 years. The most technologically advanced plane ever produced for the U.S. military will call Luke its primary home, <laughs> training pilots from not only across the country, but from all across the world. Every F-35 pilot, well just about every F-35 pilot will come to, through Luke Air Force Base. This first jet will be followed by 143 others over the next 10 years, bringing five to 700 new aircraft support jobs along with them and playing a key role in national defense plans. It's my last combat mission. And while Colonel Baker's time in the cockpit is over, it was a trip of a lifetime. He can still recall the way these new pilots feel landing this state-of-the-art aircraft. I know their emotions, they're excited, and they have uh, everything to look forward to. Making their own mark in history and protecting the United States. In Phoenix, I'm Shane Dwyer, Cronkite News.